Hello, this is Cookie Josephine. Hey, it's me, it's Foodie Beast coming once again for the pay too. So, so guys, I mean. <laughs> no, that's good. What? No, that's good. Alright. So, guys. Ah. So, uh, no, you're doing this again? Ah. Yes. So, guys. I thought we wasn't going to do no more. I thought we were going to do it. Okay. We, we tried regular snails out of the can last time. And it tasted bad, right? Yeah, yeah, it did. Now this time, How it's much cooked, it? sautéed in garlic, and a little Mrs. Dash seasoning. Yeah. Um, and this is what they look it. like. Yeah. So, Let's see if we can actually get in our mouth this time. Go try it. Yeah. Yeah, one minute or some ten minutes. It smells better. Okay. Got the wildness out. It still, it still ain't. It's a texture thing. I think it's a texture thing. Yeah, I think it really is. I mean, I think oysters and clams are better, dudes. I think they really are. I hate to, I hate to be a bicker, but you know, I might not ever do clams again. I mean, no, I mean, um, snails again because. It leaves an awful aftertaste in your mouth, too, guys. I mean, it. I mean, it's still wild. It's still wild flavor. You put garlic in it and everything, butter. Cooked it to death. Try to cook the wildness out. Um, I don't know. It's it's definitely a little better because I got it down. But the first time, you, you gotta admit, it was very hard because you know it was raw and more chunky. Do you like it better with garlic? It's not that bad. It's just not something I crave. I mean, you sorry, gotta, you gotta not, you gotta not think of the slugs. Yeah, the uh, you got. You can't think of the oysters coming from the ground, and you did not you know, think of the yeah, um, the wildness snails. Yeah, right. You can get over not thinking. It's good. Yeah, right. But is once this... you start thinking about it. Well, maybe you can finish them up. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of snails. And it's just like, I think more than him. I'll admit it. I, I think more than him. I mean, I think I mean, where they come from. I mean, I don't eat much stuff from the dirt, from things that come from the wild and in dirt and all that stuff. You got to admit. It's very fatty. Yeah. It's more fatty than anything, guys. Almost like worms. Yeah. Not that I ate worms, but... And no, guys, I'm not eating worms. I'm not eating fried worms. Now, I shouldn't look into things. Uh, we had Greg look into it. Uh, cats can get a worm that goes into the lung if they eat this. Well, um, not, not... I don't know um, if it's the can type. I don't know the can type. Not the um, can type. Not indoor cats. Only outdoor cats. Oh, only outdoor cats. Okay, okay. If they were to eat outdoor snails. Yeah, but I don't like fatty stuff, so that's probably why I don't like it too. It ain't just the you know the snail. But you gotta admit, hearing about a snail don't turn you on as good as a clam. Uh, something about something about you know the snail sound. You know the sound of the word maybe i'm just not crazy over them maybe okay they, guys yeah. it kind of tastes like what does it taste like protein no oh. um a little toss between heart and mushrooms kind of like when it's of, cooked yeah yeah and it i don't i sure of heart i love mushrooms but i can't Taste the mushroom. It has a texture of chicken hearts. Oh, it does. Hmm. Hmm. But it has a slight taste, a little bit of mushrooms. I'll try one more. Let me try one more. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the flavor to it. And the, and the wildness is out of it, guys. When you cook it, 
the wildness goes away, so the smell don't turn you off as much. I will admit that. Yeah, you like mushrooms when you cook them up. Mm. Just don't think of the other. Yep. So maybe, guys, you can try it on pizza. I mean, you won't even notice it if you put the mushrooms on it. Put the mushrooms, put them on it, you won't even probably taste them. No. No. No, no, less wild taste if you cook them up. A lot less. What do you think? Um, I'm going to give it a better grade. I'll give it a one. Yeah. What? Yeah, I want to give it a better grade. I like what? it. What? I like it better with being cooked, but not much better. Okay. What? Yeah. Yeah. And it has what? a lot of aftertaste, guys. And I'm about. And by, by the way, guys, I'm about ready to eat a meal pretty soon, and I, I you know, I'm going to have to fight my snail fault. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Because you know. I'm gonna give this guy a wrong. five. Five out of ten. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, this leaves an aftertaste. Um. What? Yeah. Wow, it makes sense. You've been eating it. So, maybe he likes the garlic in it. Wow, wow, this is crazy. Uh, well, you gotta admit, this guy, Greg, you gotta admit, you like almost... You, you, it takes a lot to make turn you off. Doesn't it? it? I mean, you, you eat a heart, wouldn't you? You, you eat a deer yeah. heart, wouldn't you? I right mean, out of the bear. You would, you would. You Shoot would. him and eat it. No. <laughs> Um, I'm not a big raw fan, though. If, if somebody gave me a snail that was quickly raw, wasn't smoked at all. Mm. Uh, no. Here's the test, guys. Taking a snail from a, a snail from outside and peeling it open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you guys dare to. Don't ask yeah. us to do it. No, no, way. no. I'm never doing it. Even for a million dollars, I'll never do it. So... Anyway, yeah, guys, so, anyway, yeah. guys, subscribe to my channel, Mains Food Reviews, some more dishes you got there, remember to subscribe, like, hit the notification button, and in the description, there's my PayPal account, uh, that is for donations right. only, if you would like a shout-out, please donate, um, and we'll give you guys a shout-out, and even if yeah. you wanted to do us for us, oh, if you look me, me up, I'm on Instagram now, guys. Instagram. Yeah, trying to get some of the celebrities to join our YouTube. What's your Instagram name? Um, Chris Heisen. What? He's my real name. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind doing that. Um, if you want to talk to celebrities, guys, this is a good way to do it. Go on Instagram. What's your full name? Uh, my full name is Christopher Charles Roy Heisen. What? Oh I have two God. middle names. I got three middle names. Wow. <laughs> How many people have that? No, two middle names. Excuse me. I, I got that. actually three but. middle names. I got three middle names. Gregory Edward Joseph. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> nice job. That, that's a good... I, I think your mother... I mean, your mother and father for that one. Yeah. Yep. That's cool. Subscribe, Ooh, like, and turn on the kitchen. Peace out. Have a good day, guys. God bless. Yeah.